In the last few years, MediaTek's been putting out some amazing silicon. Whether it's the Dimensity 9000 Plus that got Asus 2 for the first and only time so far, go MediaTek on their flagship gaming phone, or the Dimensity 8200 which set the benchmark for what a budget phone was able to do, or even the Dimensity 900 which was a highlight on pretty much every phone it was on, MediaTek have been doing really well. But now we have the Dimensity 7050, and this is not really good. Ah, okay. MediaTek had a mess with one chip. Not a biggie, right? Well, it wouldn't be, but what if I told you the Dimensity 7050 is MediaTek relaunching the same chip, not for the second, not for the third, but the fourth damn time. Hey guys, my name's Ash, you're watching C4E Tech, and let's talk Dimensity 7050 today. Now, if you've been following the Indian mobile scene, I'm sure you'd have seen this. Experience the power with India's first MediaTek Dimensity 7050 processor. Or if you've been keeping up with Chinese launches, you'd have definitely seen that budget Realme phone. You know, the one that kind of sorta looks like the Find X6 Pro. Yeah, the Realme 11 Pro Plus. I'm sure you'd have seen that. Or if you've been keeping up with the launches in the West, then you'd maybe, yeah, I got nothing. Okay, so jokes apart, the Dimensity 7050, it's pitched as the next big budget SOC from MediaTek. I mean, you saw the whole experience, the power, India's first Dimensity 7050 and all that, right? But the 7050 is a new chip in name only, because it's not really anything new. It's basically the 1080, the Dimensity 1080. That's it. I mean, I know, here's the part where somebody like me would say, it's basically the something with a fresh coat of paint or with one or two new features or with a slight increase in claw. None of that here. It's the 1080. One fine day they woke up and decided, we are gonna call it the 7050 instead. Just, I think I'm lying, just see the spec sheets here. This is right off the MediaTek website. 1080, 7050, 1080, 7050. 1080, 7050. It's exactly the same. Yeah, they changed the formatting a little bit here and there. Yeah, sure. But the actual things that matter, the core split up, the clock speeds, the GPU, camera support, display, I mean, it's all the same. Now, this wouldn't be a big deal if that was it. If I didn't go deeper. But dig deeper I did. Let's go a generation back. Now, before the 1080, we had the 920. So 1080, 920, 1080, 920, 1080, 920. But hey, at least here, there was a marginal increase with the clocks and they also added support for 200 megapixel cameras. Not much, but hey, it is something, right? The clock speeds on the powerful cores got up by 4%. Yeah, that's a 4% increase for two out of the eight cores. The other six cores had the same clocks. Now, if you think that was bad, I went back one more generation. Before the 920, there was the 900. Again, here you get the same 4% boost with the same two performance cores, but that's about it. Nothing else ha really did change from the Dimensity 900 to the 920. So now if you think about it, from the Dimensity 900 all the way to the Dimensity 7050, that's 920, 1080, 7050, four generations, all that's changed is an 8% increase in two out of eight cores. Four freaking generations. Now, if you wanna see, the, see this for yourselves, here's Antutu on the OnePlus Nord CE2, a phone that launched with the Dimensity 900 SoC. And here's Antutu on the Dimensity 1080 toting Redmi Note 12 Pro. Now the actual numbers, they vary a little bit, so don't read too much into the CPU scores being slightly lower or the GPU scores being slightly higher. It's just that there isn't really a whole lot of difference here, is there? Now given the 7050 is identical to the 1080, that's four generations of pretty much the same performance. And then you've got brands kind of pushing the fact that they've got the first 7050. Come on. Anyways, the point of this video is, when you see a phone with a Dimensity 7050, I'm not saying the phone's gonna be shit. I'm just saying, keep in mind the performance that you're getting with it is gonna be not really different from what you'd get on a phone with the Dimensity 900. I mean, take a look at what else the phone has to offer. Don't fall prey to the marketing BS that brands are gonna try to shut down your throats. Because the 7050 is definitely not 
is definitely not 6150 better than a Dimensity 900. Anyways, that's about it for this video. Guys, before you go, you know, a little bit of real talk. When I do videos like these, you know, ones that aren't exactly brand friendly, when I do videos like these, brands don't tend to like it for some strange reason. I'm sure after watching this video, Mediatek or Lava or even Realme for that matter, aren't gonna be huge fans of me. And similarly, I don't make a lot of friends in the YouTube tech community either. Given as phones launch, people get paid to cover them and they need to push every little marketing thing as a big, huge thing, you know, superb, awesome, amazing. And videos like this, can I mean, you guys are gonna be in the comments saying, hey, the 7050 is pretty much the 900. What are you talking about? So what I'm, shut up. Can't get to a point, can he? Simple. Brands don't like this video, not making friends. If you, for some reason, give two shits, those buttons below, do something with it. You know what? I'll do the outro. Cheers. Bye.